This is where we left off in the last video. We learned how to do something called inline CSS. In this video, I'm going to show you something called internal CSS, which can be useful in cases where you have multiple elements that have the exact same style. So let me show you what I mean. With inline CSS, we ended up copying and pasting the exact same style for each of these titles. We have the same color, the same font size, the same font type. So using internal CSS, I'm going to show you how we can put that all in one place, and then we don't have to have so much duplicate code. So the first thing we want to do is create a style tag. We'll just say style, and then close the style tag. Inside of here, I'm going to create my own class of style, and I'm going to name it movie title. So I'm going to say dot movie title. And then I'm going to have curly brackets. Now everything I put inside of this, these curly brackets is going to apply to anything that I assign the class movie title. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to take all of this code here from color to Arial. I'm going to cut it and paste it in here. And just to make it easier to see, let's just put each of these on their own line. All right, now the name of this class is movie title. So all I have to do is instead of having an inline style here, I'm going to say class equals movie title. All right, let's do the same thing with all the other movie titles. Again, I save it and I click refresh. And it didn't change what was displayed on the web page, right? It's still the exact same look it had before. The difference, though, is it's now easier for us as a developer to go in and change one little thing. I could change all of the titles to use the Verdana font type if I just change it right here. Click Save, click Refresh. OK. Um, another thing you can do with internal CSS. In addition to using classes and assigning a style to particular elements, we could also change the style of all elements of a given tag name. We just use the tag name without a dot. Now I can remove this text here. Click Save, go back, click Refresh, and it still works. So there you go. That is internal CSS.